Diverse is one of the best ways to describe these World Choir games. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is live inside U.S. Bank Arena with the places our visitors call home. Tom? Well, Carol, that is certainly correct. This is where that opening ceremony is going to begin in about two hours. And then afterwards, the 362 choirs are going to begin singing their hearts out for the judges. Of course, they come from 48 countries, 68 overall, if you add in all the staff, and 22 U.S. states. Now, all 15,000 participants are now getting ready to come inside this arena, but they've been mingling, rehearsing, and just having a lot of fun over the past couple of days. Choirs like this one from China broke into song with little prompting at the Duke Energy Center today. You can't go anywhere without hearing different languages or laughs and seeing smile after smile after smile. Two people have already met choir members from at least 30 countries are Franny Huston, Houston and Maggie Wheeler. They work for Ovation's Food Services, which is feeding thousands of people every single day of the games. Bosnia, China, Australia, um, uh, Thailand, you know, Czech Republic, um, South Africa. It's just a nice melting pot for people coming together for such a special occasion. It's wonderful to hear uh, so many different languages and see so many different cultures coming through Cincinnati. It's just a wonderful experience. Now, participants I spoke with today told me the thing they're enjoying the most is the chance to meet new friends from around the world, take pictures together, and of course, maybe swap a few pins from their country. Now, I spent most of the day today with the Oakville Children's Choir from near Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Coming up at 6, what they saw, what they did today, how they're singing, and what they think of Cincinnati. Tom McKee, 9 News, live inside U.S. Bank Arena.